I don't even wait for the patient to bring up the subject. It's part of my follow-up exam. I'll basically tell them, you might have heard a story on Good Morning America about textured implants. And because I have used a lot of textured implants over the years, they were really a wonderful implant, they still are. I know that, that patients are gonna hear that. That's gonna be the first thing they're gonna pick up and say, well, I have one of those implants. So I usually bring it up first. And I actually have a really nice laminated little chart, and it basically shows a bacterially contaminated implant and what can happen over time and how most patients may go on to capsular contracture, which is still pretty rare in my practice, but how this disease process is even more rare. Everybody perceives risk a little bit differently. What I do tell them is, be careful with the long-term care of your implants. If they're over 40, they get their routine radiological studies. If a patient has a problem, swelling around their breast, something changes in their breast, I am an email away. I'm the one that put in their implant, I'm the one that should follow it. And that, that's my personal belief, okay? But patients should seek out surgeons who do this. And also, if you don't have a plastic surgeon anymore, find a plastic surgeon and go for routine follow-ups.